Good morning. I'm Katie Rodriguez here today on HGHS News on the channel 800. We have some breaking news of a student's dog missing. So we're going to live report with Brandon Spann. This is B-Rad OG reporting live from the Grove. We have reportedly heard a little white dog's missing. We're here now with the dog's owner. Sir, tell us what has happened. Well, I let him go potty one day. Part of the fence was missing. And then he was gone. Couldn't find him. Sad day. Huh. Tell us your side of the story. Well, man, we gotta find that little dog. He's so much fun to hang out with. We gotta find him. And if you spot this little white dog, please call 1-800-GSM. Back to you, Katie. Thank you for that report, Brandon. We have a lot going on in the upcoming weeks at Honey Grove High School. But first, on national note, Daylight Savings Time begins on Sunday, March 10th. Don't forget to spring your clocks forward. Luckily, you'll have time to catch up on the time, on the hours you lost. Because spring break is all next week, the One Act Play cast and crew will perform at the high school on March 17th at 3 p.m. to prepare for their district competition March 20th at PJC. This year's play is a southern gothic called A Rose for Emily, written by William Faulkner. The academic UIL team will travel to Blue Ridge for district competition on March 28th, hoping to qualify for many regionals. March 28th also marks the end of the third nine weeks, so everyone keep those grades up so you can stay eligible and earn all your course credits. We'll have a school holiday March 29th for Good Friday. Everyone enjoy your three-day Easter weekend, although April 1st is considered April Fool's Day. It is no joke that ESC testing will begin that day. The English 1 and 2 writing and reading tests will be given April 1st through the 4th. <coughs> Finally, prom is upon us again. This year's junior senior prom with a James Bond Skyfall theme will be held at April 6th at Heritage Hall in Paris, completely with a Royale Casino. That is all for our local news. Now, here are Vicki and Hunter to give us the weather report. Thank you, Katie. Let's take a look at our national weather first. Overall, overall, everything looks relatively calm across the U.S. No major storms. We've been having mild weather this week with temperatures near 60 degrees for highs, lows around 45 degrees, no rain. The record high for March 8th was 87 degrees and the record low for this day was 17 degrees but we won't get anywhere near setting a new record today. Now here's Hunter with your weekend forecast. Thank you Vicki. It looks like we will continue to have mild weather through the weekend. The high on Saturday will be about 67 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. The low will drop it to about 48. On Sunday we should be a little cooler with a high near 62. And you may need your umbrella with a 60% chance of rain. The low Sunday night should be, should drop to about 42. And that's your weather forecast. Coming out after the commercial break, our very own Lindsay Lewis will give us our sports update. Hey, hey, wait, wait, come here, wait, wait, man. Gosh dang, here, let me help you. Don't you need some power, right, man? Get your drink. All right. Let that, drink that power, right, and go over and listen real way. The complete sports drink, Powerade. I'm Lindsay Lewis, and this is your HGHS News Channel 800 sports update. Today we are having the annual cheer tryouts after school in the gym. 
Two new members and one mascot will be selected for the fall 2013 squad. We could even possibly have a male mascot wearing the warrior headdress for the first time in five years. Good luck to everyone involved. Tomorrow, March 9th, three members of the powerlifting team will be competing at regionals in Ponder. Seniors Javier Harmilio and Ahmed Jabai will be competing in their class, hoping to qualify for state. And sophomore Jonathan Clark will be competing in the super heavyweight class. We wish them well. The softball and baseball teams are in full force. Both teams have recently competed in tournaments as well as some regular games, and track is also underway. Let's go live in the field now with Brandon Spain, who is one of our athletes who is trying to juggle both track and baseball. We are here live with Collins Bones Jones. Mm. What's up, what's up? What's your input on staying after school until 4.30, lifting weights and running? Shoot, you know our motto. We get better every day. <laughs> True. But you can't never forget about baseball every night until dark. When and where is y'all's next game? Mm. We got one at 4 o'clock here in Honeygrove. You heard it here live from one of our own HG athletes. Back to you, Lindsay. Mm. Thank you, Brandon. Next week, during spring break, the baseball team will travel to Roxton on Tuesday and then host Fannindale on Friday, with both games starting at 4.30. The Lady Warriors will be competing in the Farmersville Softball Tournament next weekend, March 14th through 16th. After their break from school on March 21st, HGHS will be hosting its first track meet, the Warrior Relays. Schools competing will be Honey Grove, Wolf City, Celeste, Cumbie, Campbell, Bells, Tom Bean, Bowles, and Detroit. Without a doubt, HJHS has had several new faces this school year on its coaching staff. Let's go back to Brandon, who is now with one of our senior athletes, to get his thoughts on the new coaches. We are here live with Jacob Jake the Snake. Too cold. What's your input on all the new coaches that coach you your senior year? You already know, man. They're cool, funny, and they knew what they were talking about. What former coach do you miss the most? Coach T. Driller, you know, Tim Rainey. Well, there you go. Words from a senior athlete. Back to you, Lindsay. Thank you again, Brandon. That concludes our news report. Be sure to stay tuned to Channel 800 for the Kevin Weaver Show.